welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. But he's gonna chill today because I'm going to play Aeon's End in solo mode. So let's get going. I have set this up. I you might have seen or not seen my um you know playthrough I did with Draco. If you haven't, you can click the little eye up there in the corner to go check out that one as well with two players. Now I'm going to play a pure solo game with just one breach mage. It's gonna be interesting. It's um, in some ways a bit harder, in some ways a bit easier, I guess. Uh, it's hard, to, I mean, I can plan everything myself here. Anyway, I am playing against the Corpus Queen. So this is another um, nemesis than I did last time, or we did last time, and this one is, let's put it like this. Uh, here we have, when she unleashes, we will place two husks in play. And then uh, the husks has one life each. And when they are placed into play, they go sort of in a in order here on this track. So we start off, the game start off with two husks here. And then we will keep filling this up. And at some points during the game, she will um, swarm. That's the word I'm looking for. And when she swarms, different things will happen depending on how many husks there are out there. So we need to kill these off as we go. Uh, if she gets husks all the way down here to the bottom row then when she swarms we just lose <laughs> or i just lose straight up <laughs> so yeah need to take care of that and it's also another thing to mention here is that it's one they have one life each but when i attack i can split up my damage to hit many of them if i want to but that will uh, lower my life by one and i'm using uh, dice again of course i did i must mention also i picked up this like upgrade pack for the game and I must say, that's like the worst upgrade pack I ever seen, I think. All it had were some dice, which, you know, I have a bunch of dice already. And it had some uh, crystals like this, which I also already had, basically. I mean, they are nice big crystals, and I like them more, you know, as charges and so on, than those cardboard tokens that come with the game. But still, that upgrade pack, you know, I should have looked into what it was before I bought it. So I, I don't recommend you to get that. Just get some dice or tokens, whatever. So let's get going. I have Saxus, and Saxus, he is, um, well, his special ability here is kind of interesting. I haven't played him before, but I think, you know, it makes sense for this setup because he has his abilities that allies collectively gain four charges, reveal the turn, turn order deck, and return the revealed cards in any order. So I can manipulate the turn order deck, and since I'm playing solo, I'm my own ally, which means I can spend five charters here and get four charters back right away. So it seems like a you know infinite machine I can get going here, which you know sounds interesting. Also, out here on the market, you might have noticed it looks a bit different here because I did pick up a expansion called uh, the Depths, and the sad thing was though that that expansion I didn't realize that the expansion was from from the first printing, first edition. So the artwork is different and it's kind of bad in my opinion. But anyhow, they match together anyway. It's just that it looks weird, but I wanted to have at least two of these spells in here that comes from the expansion. So with all that being said, let's see who is going to start off in the game. So we are have the nemesis starting, okay. Well, she doesn't have anything out here. So let's just draw a card for her. And it is a brood womb and a minion. And it says that if there are at least one husk in play, prevent all damage dealt to the minion, to this minion. So we can't kill him as long as there's husk out there. And his persistent is to place a husk into play. So uh, yeah, we need to get rid of him. Otherwise, he's just going to keep placing husks out here. And now we have... Okay, so number four. Basically, I have... <clears throat> when you play solo, the, the, um, the rules suggest that you have three cards for yourself and then two nemesis. Or if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can have four cards for yourself. So I have four. I have one to four in here uh, because I think it's going to be hard anyway. So, so it's my turn. And my special card with Saxos is this Flare. And when I cast this, a spell, and when I cast it, I do one or three damage depending on... Like again, we will. I will take a look at the, uh, the turn order deck and take a look at the top card. If it's a player card, then I will do three damage. And I'm thinking that's kind of cool. Because I mean, I can reveal the turn order deck and reveal the cards in any or turn them, put them back in any order. So yeah, I think this should work together somehow and with the charges and all that. Let's uh, prep this to get going. And I have four crystals. Uh, ignite. It it says that I cast it. I deal two damage and any ally gains a charge, which in this case is myself. 
So in that case, you know, some cards become better when you play solo because they you can feed yourself charges and so on. And I do want to get charges because then I can do this infinite thingy or you know. So I'll get that for four. And that was my turn. And I have my other five cards, of course, and a spark and some crystal. So let's see. And it is my turn again. So I'm going to cast this. I'm going to reveal the top card, and it's a nemesis. Oh. Okay, I have to put it back, and then I only do one damage <laughs> instead of three. Well, in that case, I kind of was planning to hit her maybe, but I'm going to kill one of these husks out here for that one damage. And then I'll prep this little spark, and once again, four crystals. And I need some money. I need to get some money as well, so let's get one of these. Uh, well, of course, I have different, you know, money cards out here as well from when I played last time. So this is the Searing Ruby. Gain two ether and gain an additional ether that can only be used to gain a spell. So this helps me out getting spells. Okay, three, four, five. And it is the Nemesis, as we knew. And now this uh, guy here, Broodwomb, he will add a husk into play. So it comes out there. And the queen will, okay, so she will swarm. Carpus queen swarms. Now when she swarms on this level, zero to three husks, uh, all that happens is that we place four new husks. <laughs> so you know, that's a lot of husks. And then on the next level, which is at now, if she would were to swarm now, then any player discards a prepped spell and you, we place two more husks into play. So it just keeps getting worse. Then we have me again, of course. I'll kill one of those nasty husks. And I have the ignite, right? So let's prep that. And four, again, mm, I'm gonna get this one. This is good because it's a relic focusing orb. Focus any place breach or destroy this and grave will gain three lives. So, First of all, I can use it to just keep focusing my breaches, and then when I already have everything focused, I can heal Gravehold. So that's a good thing. I think we might need that later on. So it's me again, of course. I'll do the Ignite. Now again, a charge. I'm going to use these blue crystals. Now deal two damage. Oh, okay, so I can't hit him. I think I need to kill these, so I'm just gonna kill one of them. It's a waste of one damage. I could split it up and kill two, but then I would have to take you know, one damage myself. I don't have any way to heal myself, so I think I wanna wait. If I can do like six damage at once, then I can you know, take one, one hit myself to kill off six of these to split it up. So I'll wait with that. Have the flare again, and one, two, three, four, five, or six, if I wanna go for a spell. Let's see, this is kind of cool. The six cost uh, says that while prepped, you may destroy a card in hand once per turn during your main phase, and then you cast it for three damage. That could be a good way to, you know, get rid of some cards. I do like this one as well, though, for five. That This is two damage to a minion and two damage to another minion or to the nemesis. So this is kind of perfect against these husks. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that one because I really need to kill these husks, I think. I'm gonna put this at the bottom. And that's one plus four. And we need to shuffle a little bit. And I, I also have out here, the other relic out here is the bottled vortex. Destroy it and destroy up to two cards in your hand or discard pile and draw a card. So that's also a good way to thin out my deck later on here. Because I think that's important in this game. And it's the nemesis. Okay, so we're gonna add a husk. And let's see what she's doing. It's going to be an attack. Place a husk into play for each turn order card in the turn order discard pile. Well, there's only one because that was the first thing that happened. So that was good. Only one husk. That could have been a lot worse. Okay. Then we have me. <coughs> so let's see. The f I guess, yeah, I'll play the, I cast the flare to reveal the top card. And it's a player card. So that's good. That means that it's going to be three damage. I'm going to take, I'm going to take one hit. So I'm going to go down to nine. So I can do three split damage. I'm going to kill three of these. I think that's a good idea. And let's prep this spark. 
focusing orb, I can focus a breach. I'm gonna go for this one because it has the plus one damage and it's closer to being completed than that one. And three. Hmm. I have a Phoenix Flame out here, it's pretty cool. Um, it's like, it's two damage and I can lose a charge to deal two additional damage. So if I, you know, I can keep getting charges and this could be a lot of damage, four total. But I guess this early, I need money, right? So let's get this one for three. The, uh, I don't know how to say this, Amber. And when I gain it, it, it gives me two ether, but the special thing is I can put it on top of my deck instead of my discord pile, so that's pretty good. So that was it. Because I am planning to like replace these crystals, right? To get rid of them. So let's see, it is my turn again. Let's do the spark, kill a husk. And I never drew, draw, <laughs> drew cards, three, four, five. And now I have two spells. Okay, so I think this is a good time to work on some focusing rights. So I have two, three, four. Let's focus this so that I can put out two spells like that. And that is it. So four more and one there and it is Nemesis turn, okay. So first of all, the husks comes out and let's see, she is going to, oh, there's a power. So we can get rid of this by destroying a card in hand that costs two ether or more. If not, after two times, it's going to unleash. Any player discards the three cards in their hand and draw one card. This is pretty bad. It's not terrible. I mean, there's worse things out there, but I guess, let's put these on here. I guess I will get rid of it. Destroy a card in hand that costs two or more. I guess that's worth it, actually. So, my turn. And I'll cast this combustion to do two to one and two to another. I think we'll just, yeah, let's, let's just kill two here. When I do this ignite, I have to cast this ignite because it's not an opus uh, breach. Then I'll do two more damage. It's a lot of wasted damage, but at least now they're gone. So if I can do more damage before uh, the, the nemesis goes, I can kill this broodwomb, which would be nice. I also get a charge for that, so that's good. So flare time. And I have, let's see, I have five or six if I buy a spell. I'm buying spells, I mean I need, it's no, no point in buying spells if I can't uh, use them right. So I think I will just, let's see, I need five. Yeah, I'm just gonna prep this here. And I'm going to spend, I'm gonna spend four, I'm gonna use all the five. You don't need to use all the money if you don't want to. Uh, well, they shouldn't go into the Discord pile, by the way, to pick up another focusing orb, so I can keep keep focusing like this. And remember, this is also good to be able to heal Gravel later on. So that was my turn, and I guess it's me again, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. So the Flare, and now there's no top card of the turn order deck, so from what I understand, I don't really do anything with that. I just, this is just one damage. That's kind of bad, actually, but okay. <laughs> so at least I got him down to four. I didn't think about that. Okay, focus orb. Let's focus and open this. So that's good. So we can put the spark there. I probably will, will just do one damage anyway to a husk. So then plus one maybe isn't that important in this against this nemesis. I don't know. I have three crystals. Let's get one of these bottle vortex so I can start uh, destroying cards. So that is going to be. And then I want to have the crystals next to it, right? Because that will be nice. And let's draw five cards and it is time to uh, reshuffle. So, no husks at least. <laughs> That's pretty good. And I think I can get rid of that agony field, the power, before it hits. So, let's see what we have. It is me. So, spark for two damage. Oh yeah, let's hit this guy for two. That's good. Okay, let's do this one here. That's two to one and two to another. And this ignite is two and a charge. And then I have four. 
I'm just gonna keep buying focusing orbs. I think it's a good idea. I mean, get these focused quickly, and um, and then I can use them to heal Gravehold. So, of course, if Gravehold doesn't take damage before, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so it is my turn again. So let's see, combustion. Yeah, that's good. Two damage to a minion, it's this guy. And then two to the uh, queen. So, no, it's actually three because it's plus one here. So she's down to 57. And then we'll do two here, so that's 55. Okay. And I get a charge as well. And it says on the card, on that spell card, it says that the, the plus here will apply to both attacks. So that's good. And let's do focusing orb and start focusing this. It's gonna take a little while, but I have a lot of them. So with, okay, so three, four, five or six. Yeah, let's get one for six then. Let's get one of these, uh, the strongest spell I have here in the setup. So when prepped, I can destroy a card in hand. So I'll, I'll probably just prep it and just let it be there. And just keep destroying all the, the small cards, basically all the starting cards. And yeah, I think that's a good plan. I like to keep my my uh, deck uh, sort of you know thin if I can. And it is my turn again. No spells now though. So there goes the flare. But now I have the bottle vortex. So let's destroy this, and I can take two cards with me from hand or discord pile. So I don't want to take these because I rather take from discord pile. So then I can use those to to buy something with. So let's get rid of two crystals from here and the bottle vortex of course let's <laughs> see if we can get those out there and i also get to draw a card because of that so that's another focusing orb let's play that and focus here and i have three so let's get another bottle vortex so yeah that's, that's that's a good plan actually i think if i can get through these pretty quickly here that would be really nice just get rid of the bad cards and it is Nemesis, so one of these goes away, and we have, oh, an attack. Unleash twice, and Gravehold suffers three damage. Okay, so let's do that first. So unleash means two husks are coming to play, and it's unleashed twice, so that's a total of four husks. Then Gravehold takes three damage. Okay, so now I can actually, you know, start healing it. <laughs> so down to 27. Uh, or I could have uh, placed the most recent to just got a minion back in uh, play, but I didn't want to do that because he's really annoying because you can't kill him if there's husks out there. So anyway, so we have me again. The flare will now will will uh, look at the top card, and it's not a play card, so it's only one plus one or two damage. So oh wait, should we kill? Yeah, let's kill a husk. Let's just get rid of one. Just to be, be safe. And by the way, I should have... I keep forgetting to draw my hand for some reason. I don't know. That's the first card in the discard pile. And my new hand... I'll put the spark out. Yeah, why not? And the focusing orb. Focus this. And I have four money. I think I will get another ignite, actually. Because that gives me charges, so that, that's really good. And then discard these like that. Now let's draw back up. I tend to start playing too quickly, I think, when I play solo. Uh, just, you know, but you need to think things through as well. So we know that it's a nemesis, and then this is going to hit. I, I didn't do anything about it, but yeah, it's okay, I think. So destroy, uh, unleash, which means we get two husks. And then any player discards three cards in hand and then draws one card, so that's me. So three cards. I can't put out all these spells anyway. But I think that's three cards. I think I'll take these three. And then I draw a card. Okay. And yeah, so I mean, the unleash was was the worst thing really, because that gets us more husks into play. And yeah, she should draw a card as well. Come on, <laughs> that is another power. Block the sun to discard. I have to lose four charges. We could do that. 
Otherwise, Corpus Queen swarms, unleashes, and then swarms again. Oh, that would be bad. That would be that would be terrible. Wow. So yeah, I need to do this. I need to lose four charges before before that hits. And you know, some you don't always know when it's gonna hit, right? Because you don't know the turn order. So I probably have to do it fairly soon. So I don't wait too long and then you know. She gets to go twice in a row or something. And it is my turn. The spark will kill one of these husks. And I only have three cards, of course. So I'm gonna pr have this prepped. And I'm not gonna cast this for a while, so let's put it in the bad, no, the, the first slot there. The focus orb will focus this. So that's good. Got that open, and then I have one crystal, can't do anything with that. Uh, that wasn't the most exciting turn, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, this is prepped, so now I can destroy a card in hand once per turn doing my main phase, so I can destroy it right away. I don't need to wait for that, so... That was good. Okay, so five cards. Now I have the bottle vortex, so we can get rid of more stuff in my discord pile, I like that. And it is my turn again. I'm not gonna cast this. This is three damage, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it there. I think this is gonna be nice. So first of all, I can let's do the focusing orb first. So let's focus this, and I'm I'm getting close to having all the breaches open, which you know then I can start healing. Grave hold. Then I'll destroy the bottled vortex and two cards from my discard pile. And I I'm actually gonna keep the sparks now because the you know I need it's good to have that one damage. Let's get rid of two crystals. And let's see. Then I get to draw a card as well, which means I need to do that. And I got the flare. Okay, so then I can put the flare out here. That's good. And of course, because of this uh, spell being active here, I can destroy a card from hand. So just let's destroy another crystal. And I have two more, and I can't do anything with two. Yeah, I can get a charge. Of okay, let's do this. Then I'm getting a charge. And. Let's just, yeah, let's just uh, spend four charges to get rid of this. Just so I, I'm not going to gamble. So, that, let's see, put this at the bottom. So that's a pretty good turn. Got a lot of things done, and I really, you know, I got rid of three cards. So I'm really thinning out my deck, and I like that. I think I will actually buy one of these more, uh, you know, better money cards as well. So it's my turn again. And hmm, this time I don't want to get destroy any card. So you know what? Now I think it's time to cast this. So this is three damage. But let's cast this first. So reveal the top card. It is a player card. So that means I will do three dam four damage over here. And I'm gonna take one one damage myself in order to be able to split it up and take out four husks. So they're all gone. So that was good. And then I'll do this for three damage. And she is down to 52. Hmm. Well, we haven't gotten to the really nasty cards yet, I guess. <laughs> so they are going to come, right? So let's put this combustion out here. And do the focus orb. So this focuses. And the ignite. And then I have two. I have four. Let's get another searing ruby going. Because I am, you know, getting rid of my money cards, my, my starting money cards, so it's good to have some other, you know, better ones. And five more cards. And I'm going through the deck quickly now, which I do like. So next up is me, as we already know. And once again, focus orb. No, 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 should cast spells first. <laughs> I'm, I'm too, uh, I'm too quick here. Okay, so this, I have nothing, I have no minions to cast this on. I'm gonna do this, this is three damage. So she goes down to 49. And I gain a charge. So that's good. And should I wait with this? And cast it when there's something to, yeah, I think I will. I think I will. So I'll put this spark here, that's good against the husk, just one damage. The ignite there with the plus to hit the queen. 
Then I have two focus orbs, which means actually that this will open as well. So now I don't have any uses for the focus orbs anymore. Uh, one crystal can't get rid of it though, sadly. So maybe I got too many focusing orbs, I don't know. Three, four, five, and it is the nemesis, right? Yeah. So let's see what she will be doing. It's a power. Oh, this is kind of annoying here. Husks have two life, so it's harder to kill them as long as this is active. And then immediately unleash. So two husks come out. And it also says that damaged husks heal to full life at the end of each turn. So there's no point in doing one damage to them. And power three, and then she will swarm. Okay. And there's no way for me to get rid of this, though. So that's, that is going to happen uh, in three, three of her turns. And while uh, until then, Husk will have two life. Okay. Ah, well, I don't think that's a big problem, really. So then it is Nemesis again. One of these goes away. And it is a attack. Okay, so now she's going to swarm twice. Okay, this is nasty. Or any player suffers four damage. So if she swarms twice, first time it will add four husks. And next second time, I'll have to discard a prepped spell and then two more husks. So that's six. Wow, that's six husks in total. I'm, I'm going to go for the... Well, I can't heal myself. That's the thing. I have a bunch of damage. I mean, if, instead of taking four damage, I can four times, I can split damage. I think that's better, actually. So let's, let's have her swarm twice, even though it's terrible. So first time, she will add four. Second time, we are on this row now. So now she will add two, and I have to discard a prepped spell. I'll just get rid of the spark. Now... If she would swarm at this level, Gravehole will suffer 5 damage. And since I have a bunch of ways to, to heal the Gravehole... Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so, in some ways I'd rather have taken that than uh, having to discard a prepped spell and add two more husks, right? I don't know. Next level after that is the player with the lowest life, which is always me, suffers 3 damage. So that's, that's that I really want to avoid that one, because then I'll start taking damage for real. And it's my turn. So, okay, Ignite can do... I remember Husks have two life as well because of this. So do I really want to kill them, though? I mean, if I don't care about this, she will swarm. And if she swarms, Gravel will suffer five damage. That's not a big deal. I can heal that. No, no. So let's instead... This will deal two damage plus one, so that's three, and I get a charge. So that's three damage to the boss instead. Let's do that. So that's down to 46. And then this will be two damage to a minion. So one of these are killed. Yeah, she probably get more until... Yeah, okay. And then uh, three to her. Because it's plus one. So it's actually three to that minion as well. But we didn't need to. So she's down to 43. So that's pretty good. I'm doing good damage. Okay. Okay, so let's get uh, let's uh, destroy the focus orb and heal up Gravel up to thirty. There's no point in having that in the deck, right? And then the flare, the devouring shadow. I have three money. Let's get a bottle of vortex so I can thin out the deck even more. So that's two, three, four, five cards. I still haven't decided. Should I get rid of it? No, I can't get rid of it. I'm stupid. No, no, I, I can't get rid of it. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that I can control, like, where, what level she's at when she swarms. That's that's basically it. And then I really want her to be on the next level so that Gravel takes damage instead of me, basically. Um, so Nemesis goes. One of these go away. And we have a... Oh, this is one of those basic guys. Needle Maw. Uh, his thing is that Grey will suffer two damage, which is not that, you know, terrible in this case. In some situations, in some games, that's really terrible if Grey will takes damage, but since I have those good ways to heal it, I'm not really that worried. It has 11 health as well, so it is my turn. So I'm going to kill it, of course, but I don't think it's... I don't need to rush it. I don't think I need to rush it. 
Okay, so flare time. Let's reveal the top card, and it's Nemesis again. I'm getting unlucky with the flare. So then it's only gonna do one plus one or two damage. Let's kill a husk then. Then this one is four damage, three plus one, or I can let it be here and I can destroy a card in hand. I don't want to right now. I'm just gonna use it. So four damage. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna hit uh, the, the boss. I need to kill her. That's basically the whole idea here. I think another strategy here, I guess, could be to just keep, if you just clear the husks all the time, let her run through her deck. But it's, yeah, I guess this is you know, quicker. Uh, two focusing orbs, which is a bit sad because now I don't need to heal Gravehold. I think I got too many of those. So Ignite goes out here. But I didn't know how much damage Gravehold would take, right? Okay, so I have four. I, now I'm starting to think that I, maybe I should just get some charges. Because that's my ability is really good. I haven't used it yet. So let's spend these to get two charges. I don't need, really need that many more cards right now, I think. And I guess I can play the Focus Breach and focus any play player's Breach and not do it. I mean, you can't play a spell if you, you know, you can't discard a card. But I think I can or destroy this, but I don't want to destroy it when I can't heal Gravel. The thing is, in this game, you can't get more life than you started with, so otherwise I would just heal Gravel. So I'm going to play it like that. Tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but I think I, think I can play these and not do it. Focus any place breach. Well, I tried, but it didn't work because they were already, already open, right? Because I want to save those for later when I need to heal Gravel. And here's the bottom vortex. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Is it my turn? No, no. We know that it's Nemesis. So Gravel suffers two damage. That's actually in some ways it's not good, but it feels good because then I can use those cards for something. And now this happens. So she will swarm. I could have planned for this if I didn't now I have to discard a prep spell so I couldn't have I could have saved like ignite instead I guess because I knew that would happen and then I placed two husks into play when she swarmed and then what is she she's another power oh that's the basic one this is so annoying and this is really this is really hard when you play solo because this says grave will suffer 18 damage the player collectively discard up to six gems for each gems discarded this way prevent three of that damage so if you're four players or three players, it's going to be way easier to prevent that damage. I mean, I got that when I played with Draco as well, but now I'm all by myself. And what do I have? I have, I have one gem in hand. So 18 damage, that, that's, a, that's a bit too much. I need to get more gems in hand. So yeah, wow. Okay, so it's my turn. And now I don't have any spells. Let's put out Ignite and this Combustion. And now they are back to one health, by the way. There's the husks. So the, yeah. Okay, so now I don't want to get rid of the, let's see, how many, crystal, how many cards do I have? I have two here, which means I am going to draw three. And you can look through your discard pile, right? So I will get that, okay. So right, this bottom vortex is not that great right now. I'm just gonna get rid of it and get rid of one crystal. And then I think I'm done with uh, destroying stuff. Uh, I'll go with that. So I have two, one, two, three. And so now I have three gems in hand. If, if that happens, well, is, this, is it going to happen? No, we already had the two nemesis, okay. So it's my turn. So let's see if I mean if Gravel is gonna take a lot of damage, then all of a sudden I'm more interested. I mean it's gonna take two here. That's twenty. You know I'm I'm more interested in getting rid of the husk. So when she swarms, it's not gonna be Gravel suffering five damage. Let's do the spark to kill one husk, and this will be. Three damage to one minion, three to another one. So let's take a damage. So I'm going down to seven, but that lets me take three here and three to another one, which means we get rid of the husks, which is nice. Then this ignite will give me a charge and 
also do three damage, so this guy goes down to eight. I think it's time to take care of him. And now I can use my power. I have the charges, but I don't want to use it because there's no there's no draw deck. So then I can't reveal the I'm, I'm gonna do this after we shuffle so that I can reveal the turn order deck and return the cards in any order. Um that's good. So now the question is when we shuffle, it might be Nemesis right away. So I should probably just hang on to these gems to protect Ravel. I think that makes sense. So let's put these out here. And let's draw two cards. Oh, um, another gem. That's basically all my gems, I think. <laughs> so, because now I'm almost hoping that we get Nemesis. So we get, you know, get it over with. Because if it's my turn like three times in a row, then I'm not really sure what to do. Should I just hold on to the... Well, I can cycle through really quickly though. And it is Nemesis, okay. So, let's see, this is older, so two damage first, down to 26. Then 18 minus 12. So, that is, uh, what did I say? 18 and 4, 12, yeah, yeah, so six more. So down to 20 life. We got, got that you know, over with. It's good to have that down. I, it doesn't always come up because you shuffle randomly these basic cards in, the, in there. So, Okay, and then she draws a card, which is another power, another basic one. To discard, destroy two prepped spells that cost three or more. And the power is unleash three times. So three times, that's six husks. Which... Uh, it's, not, it's not that bad, I think. Destroy two. Well, I can destroy these two then if it's my turn. Let's see. No, it's a nemesis turn again, so then I don't have a choice anyway. So, two damage to Gravel. Down to 18. And I would be worried, but I know that I can heal it a bunch. Then this happens at least three times, which means we get six lovely husks out here. There we go. And then she gets. An attack, unleash twice, and Gravehold suffers four damage. Wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been, uh, okay, I should never have said anything. I should have just kept my mouth shut because I was all about, yeah, Gravehold, I don't know, it doesn't take any damage. Now it's down to 14 health. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so that was the two Nemesis turns, though. We know that it's just going to be me now, so... I need to get rid of a bunch of husks at least. So, okay. Flare, we're gonna look at the top card. We know that it's a player card, so that's gonna be three plus one or four damage. I'm just gonna take one hit so I can split that up and take out four of these guys. Then the question is, should I do the same thing again? Cast this for four. I think I will. So I'll go down to five health, but we got rid of eight, uh, eight of these guys. So that you know that was good. And then I only have this one here. I will um, destroy it. So Grave Gravehold gains three life up to seventeen. So that was my whole turn for now. Then I have two cards, and it is my turn again. And let's see here, uh, another focusing orb, of course. So, Gravel goes up to 20. That's good. And then it's time for double ignite. And a combustion and, let's see, is that smarter to, yeah, it's better to put this on the plus one, of course. So. That's it. And by the way, if I would get killed or like exhausted, uh, I don't lose the game when you play solo. Uh, but then, of course, every time I take damage, Gravehold takes it instead and takes the double. And when Gravehold dies, that's when I lose as a solo gamer. So let's see. I think the spark will just, you know, just kill a husk. I should have used. Wow, it's realized I should have used my ability. Because I'm getting two charges here. Ah, uh, okay. 
Yeah, that was that was a, that was a mistake. I'm I, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. So, ignite here deals two damage, and I don't get the charge, of course, because I have to do this on my main face, and this is my casting face. So two damage. Let's just let's just kill this husk. No, 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 no. Two damage to. The... Oh, yeah. Kill kill the husk. Okay. And this one will do 3 to a minion. So it goes down to 5 and 3 to the nemesis. So that's 36. And then this ignite will do 3 damage. And let's just go down to 33 on the nemesis. I think we need to kill her pretty quickly now because we're getting into the really nasty level 3 card soon. So that's not going to be pretty. And then flare and then some money. Okay. So what am I doing with this money? Okay, let's do this first, actually. But I already know. I already know that it's going to be me. So there's no point in looking at these and putting them back in any order I want. So maybe this, you know, this skill is probably better in a multiplayer game, I guess. It just sounded cool, but... Yeah, it's, of course it's better in a multiplayer game. Ah, uh, okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get some good spells going though. So like this is three if I use it to buy a spell. So with these two, it's five. Let's get another combustion. Those are good. And then this is four. Let's get another ignite. So I'm basically all about spells now. So... Yeah, I, I think that's about it here. I know it's me, so the flare, and I know that that card is a player card, so the 3 4 damage. Uh, should I hit that guy? Yes, I should. Okay, so he goes down to 1. And then let's prep some stuff here. And now, while prepped, I can destroy a card in hand. Let's destroy the spark. Because I have so many other good spells now, so... And then I know it's going to be me again. I have a crystal I can destroy as well if I want to. And now let's do a bunch of damage, okay. So this is going to do 3 to a minion and 3 to the nemesis. So this guy is gone. And she's down to 30. Wow, this is I'm, I'm re I can really boost some damage now. So this is three, six, eight. So that's twenty two. Wow, this is going quick now. Just you know, <laughs> and I keep putting these spells out, and she doesn't have anything, and I have some money. And yeah, I realize I shouldn't have had this character for solo. I sh There's other good things you can have. I mean, like healing or whatever. So what would I buy then? Well, that's good. I mean, I should have had this long ago because I can deal two damage and then I can lose a charge to deal two more. I should have this in combo with Ignite. So that gives me a charge that, yeah. <laughs> but let's get one of these. Okay, I'm not in any way saying that I'm good at this game. I'm still new to the game, basically. But I am learning and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, both solo and multiplayer. It's such a cool game. I want to get more expansions, but I don't want to get more of these, these uh, first printings because they look so ugly. And it is me again. There's no minions. This is weird. Uh, so this is... This is three, and this is three. Okay, so that's six damage. Wow. Down to 16, right? This is almost too easy now. Weird. Let's just get all of these out here, and this is two. And... I don't need to buy anything more, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Because I have this one, so I can destroy a card in hand. So uh, here we go. Five new cards, and uh, that's uh, yeah. I'm going through the deck really quick now. Just more spells. I'll probably you know win if it's oh it's a nemesis. Okay, let's see what she can do. 
It's a power. Okay, immediately unleash twice. Something happens at least. So that's four husks. And then the power says discard half of the husk and play round it up. Gravel suffers two damage for each husk discarded this way and then she swarms. So this could be really nasty if it comes at the wrong time, right? But now I think I can I can probably just kill her before that happens. We'll see. It's her again. So well <laughs> well now she's gone twice. So I remove one of those and we get an attack. Any player discards any player any player places the discard pile on top of the deck, shuffles it, and then destroys the top four cards. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is weird because this is my hand. And I have two cards in my discard pile. Okay. So that means I'm gonna destroy these two. <laughs> That's weird. I didn't even have four cards in my in my discard pile and deck at this time. So but that could be really nasty otherwise. I mean if you, if that had happened. I mean, I could get rid of four really good cards, but then she will unleash twice as well. So she's building up once again. So that's four more of the husks. Okay. But now I know it's my. Yeah, I'm gonna win this. So I'm gonna reveal the top card. It is a player card, which means all this will do three, uh, four, five. Six, seven, eight, uh, 12. Okay, so 12 damage. So she's down to four health. I don't need to kill the husks, I just kill the queen. And then I'll just put these out. This will be enough to kill her. And I don't need to draw and all that because next time it is my turn again and I'll take her out. So, and she never got to this. So yeah, it was almost too easy. I don't know really why. Mel, I'm playing with, I am playing with four turn order cards. Maybe I should have been playing with three. Maybe that's more balanced here. Or maybe I just got, you know, a bit lucky and all that. And yeah, it's worked out really well at least. Uh, so, but I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, please press the like button as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Breathing. Look into these eyes. Subscribe to the channel. Now, exhale.